Let's drill down to the earnings of Vertiv, first quarter earnings from that AI giant from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, that's a real thing. I'm Corey Johnson, Chief Market Strategist for Futurum Group. And Vertiv, so important, $32 billion company, growing by leaps and bounds, reporting first quarter earnings. These guys build data centers, modular data centers, focusing on liquid cooling in particular. These guys do the work of AI by building the places where AI happens. So if you're watching this broadcast right now, you can call up Vertiv and get your own plug and play data center. You know, if you need one of those things, better call quick because it's taking a, a long time to get those orders through. They are seeing all kinds of orders. Of course, Wall Street just focuses on beats and misses. And this is a beat, I guess, sales of $1.64 billion up uh, seven, eight percent year over year. Um, and they lost money barely because of an adjustment of warrants. Uh, it's a counting thing, but otherwise a really good quarter for this company. We dig a little bit deeper. First quarter organic orders up 60 percent compared to first quarter of last year. Book to bill ratio of 1.5x in the first quarter. Very strong book to bill. A record $6.3 billion in backlog in the first quarter. And uh, first quarter sales, let's not get the cart ahead of the horse here. Um, they're not still uh, on horse drawn carriages in Columbus, Ohio. It was just there. Very, very hip place. Look, $1.6 billion in revenues. Again, 8% higher than the previous year. Um, and profits, really fantastic profits for this company that has often struggled, um, up 42% from the previous year. So uh, really impressive. Uh, also announcing a share buyback, which of course the market likes. But again, book to bill, really strong at 1.5x. Uh, sales growing at 8%, a slower growth rate than they had been in profit margins, really hanging on. Profit margins, EBITDA margins, or EBIT margins, I should say, 12.4% for Vertiv. So how did the stock react? Well, stock took off, sold off a little bit eventually, but still up about 5% from where it had been. And are you talking about up? How about up 555% in a year? Which is why this is a $32 billion company right now. They have a new CEO uh, in the last year or so. Uh, Gio Albertazzi uh, had some really interesting comments about how real AI spend is right now. We see an acceleration uh, that is uh, that is certainly quite convincing in the whole AI space. Um, when I was referring to doubling uh, pipeline size in the last uh, in the last uh, two months, that in and of itself is uh, is a very strong uh, is a very strong uh, signal. Um, the type of uh, demand that we see is certainly around uh, liquid cooling. Uh, and, um, you know, when we think liquid cooling pretty much, we think something that is consistent with, uh, with, uh, with a classic uh, curve that we gave uh, a couple of months back. But truly, the demand is across, uh, across the board. It's across the board in terms of the entirety of the powertrain and, uh, and thermal change. So, just like we were expected, there are some technologies that are specific to uh, high density compute or anyway, uh, GPU based uh, uh, compute. But there is, uh, you know, a, a market a market demand expansion that uh, um, is simply more uh, megawatts being the being, being deployed that is, is, is impacting the entire range. Again, it's not just one piece of the portfolio, it's the entire range. So really a focus on liquid cooling. Uh, the newest, greatest chips, especially those from NVIDIA, require an entirely different kind of system for cooling because the power usage is so extensive and uh, the cooling has to happen kind of in the entire data center in a different way and a cheaper way and yeah, that's liquid cooling. So uh, the build out of that is really just getting all the permits. It really seems to be the slowest thing for this business, otherwise growing so fast. But let's take a higher level look, a quick look, uh, a summary of these results. And of course, one number that tells us a whole lot, the drill down bite right after this. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. Everything you need to know in one minute about Vertiv's results for the first quarter. Of course, the stock's up 555% for a year, so you want to pay attention to this one. $1.64 billion in revenues, up 8% on a year-over-year -year basis. Really strong book-to-bill growth. 
profitability like they've never seen before and, and kind of hanging in there. Uh, and just permitting is the only issue slowing these guys down. They are taking orders like crazy. How much? Here's your one number that tells us a whole lot. 60% order growth, very bullish pervertive. It probably is why the stock is up even further today. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. Check me out at X, at Corey TV, at TikTok and Instagram, Drill Down Pod, and the Futurum Group for robust takes on the latest tech earnings. Drill Down Media, part of 6.5 Media.